I bow down to the all-powerful Buddha, whose mind is free of attachment, who in his compassion and wisdom has taught the inexpressible. In truth, there is no birth, then surely no cessation or liberation. The Buddha is like the sky, and all beings have that nature. Neither samsara nor nirvana exist, But all is a complex continuum with an intrinsic face of void. The object of ultimate awareness. The nature of all things appears like a reflection, pure and naturally quiescent, with a non-dual identity of suchness. The common mind imagines a self where there is nothing at all and it conceives of emotional states, happiness, suffering and equanimity. The six states of being in samsara, the happiness of heaven, the suffering of hell, are all false creations, figments of mind. Likewise, the ideas of bad action causing suffering, old age, disease and death, and the idea that virtue leads to happiness, are mere ideas, unreal notions. Like an artist, frightened by the devil they paint, the sufferer in samsara is terrified by their own imagination.
like a man caught in quicksand, thrashing and struggling about. So beings drown in the mess of their own thoughts. Mistaking fantasy for reality causes an experience of suffering. Mind is poisoned by interpretation of consciousness of form. Dissolving figment and fantasy with a mind of compassionate insight. Remain in perfect awareness in order to help all beings. So acquiring conventional virtue, freed from the web of interpretive thought. Unsurpassable understanding is gained as Buddha, friend to the world. Knowing the relativity of all, the ultimate truth is always seen. Dismissing the idea of beginning, middle and end, the flow is seen as emptiness. So all samsara and nirvana is seen as it is, empty and insubstantial, naked and changeless, eternally quiescent and illumined. As the figments of a dream dissolve upon waking, so the confusion of samsara fades away in enlightenment. Thank you. 
idealizing things of no substance as eternal, substantial and satisfying, shrouding them in a fog of desire. The round of existence arises. The nature of beings is unborn, yet commonly beings are conceived to exist. Both beings and their ideas are false beliefs. It is nothing but an artifice of mind, this birth into an illusory becoming, into a world of good and evil action, with good or bad rebirth to follow. When the wheel of mind ceases to turn, all things come to an end. So there is nothing inherently substantial, and all things are utterly pure. This great ocean of samsara, full of delusive thought, can be crossed in the boat, universal approach. Who can reach the other side without it? <laughs> 